Hello, welcome to Let's Play LEGO Star Wars 2 Story Mode Part 16A. This time around, we're going to the to Endor, the forest moon of Endor, where the second Death Star is being built and where the shield generator is supporting it. Is that we go here and disable the shield generator so we destroy that second Death Star and save the galaxy once and for all. It doesn't show in this game, but unfortunately, since the last level, Yoda has died. Yeah, you remember that green little thing that taught us back in Empire Strikes Back? Yeah, he's dead. Oh, what a shame. What a pity. He was such a great guy. But he was 900 years old, so, you know, that kind of happens to the people when they turn 900 years old. It will probably happen to me when I turn 900 years old. If I'm still alive and I'm 900 years old, it probably won't be. So see here, we're cutting our way through the forest. You can see here, we have Luke Skywalker and Princess Leia. If us just cut our way through the jungle forest or whatever it is. On, on Endor. Endor is actually one of the better places in the Star, in the Star Wars galaxy and Star Wars universe. That's probably why it's such a popular, that's probably why it's such a popular place. Why the Empire wanted to have, wanted to be one of their shield generator station here. It makes perfect sense. But as you can probably guess, the Empire are going to get their butt creamed at this place too, as you can probably guess. We know it's something that's has to end good, right? Every good troll just has to have a good ending, right? Or do they? Maybe it has a bad ending. Maybe the Empire wins at the end. Who knows? Maybe that's the sad truth for this game. For this trilogy or whatever. So you see Luke Skywalker get his chum for the easy because, you know, he's a Jedi. Why not? He's a, he's a Jedi. And you can lift that thing up there too. And this is the only time in the game where we ever play as Luke Skywalker and or his end or his end or camouflage. It actually looks like real life army camouflage. You know, the kind of camouflage army where it's in real life. Not the Salvation Army, I mean like the actual army, the one that goes out to wars, the ones that go over to Syria and bomb places in Syria or something like that, or whatever, wherever there's war going on. So you can see, speeder bikes are going to come after us. You see here we got these two speeder bikes, they're usually piloted by stormtroopers, scout troopers, here's two stormtroopers, there, there. So what we have to do is, well first we have to destroy the stormtroopers or scout troopers shown on the bottom of the screen. Well, because there's so many studs here, studs galore in this level, it's very easy to get a true Jedi in this level. You just have to walk, and there's a lot of mini too. You just have to walk back and forth, walk back and forth, walk back and forth, and there you go, look at that. A mini kit, just as easy as that. This level's kind of long too, but, you know, but then again, a lot of the levels in, in, this, in this Return of the Jedi story are actually quite long, so they start their game starts to get a bit complex. A little too complex for most people's liking. Thankfully, they simplified this somewhat in the in the complete saga version by allowing you to leave the level and getting the stuff you collected. And I'm just taking that in perspective. So it's a pro the complete saga is that obviously is a better game. So it's surprising you don't sell this digitally anymore. You can't buy like a Star Wars 2 digitally anymore. You can only buy it now as like a Star Wars a complete saga, which I guess it makes sense. Like a Star Wars 2 is technically abandoned where then and like a Star Wars complete saga is not like a Star Wars complete saga is still. You know, you buy off the internet, off Steam, or whatever website it is. And you, as in, yeah, it's still a current, still a current, you can consider a current game, you can still get it on your PC. I think about buying Star Wars Battlefront 2, the PC version on Steam, I heard that's on Steam, I to get that. Well, unfortunately, my computer, my Alienware can't handle that, I don't think, considering all the other stuff I have on it, because it's cool and other stuff. But I would like to get Star Wars Battlefront 2 eventually, the PC version, I think it'll be fun. Because I heard the PC version really is the definitive version of Star Wars Battlefront 2, and I'm a big fan of Star Wars Battlefront 2. I've played the crap out of the PS2 version of Star Wars Battlefront 2. So much in fact, the game isn't really that fun anymore. I play the game on the very hard difficulty settings, and it's still kind of easy. Star Wars Battlefront 2 is considered by many to be the best Star Wars game ever, but it definitely has its flaws. Like one that's too easy, and that the AI is very easy to take, uh, is to overtake too. It's just an easy game overall, a little too easy sometimes. I think they could have made it a lot more challenging. Which I heard the PC version of this they have, and it has mods too. They make a lot of mods in the PC version. They also make mods for this, for LEGO Star's Complete Saga. Again, PC only, so you can only do that if you have a PC. But thankfully I got a PC, well, I wish I had a real peak working PC. You can call my PC a real working PC, considering a lot of stuff that it does. You know, like the fact that it has trouble running Photoshop. Yeah, my Alienware laptop, you think? $1,600 computer, you think you'd be able to run Photoshop perfectly fine, but no, it doesn't. It sucks at running Photoshop. It fails at running Photoshop. It has a keyboard that fails a lot of the time, too. I'll make a separate video talk just branching about Alienware and that how big of a scam they are. Yeah, if you're in the market for a new computer, I don't recommend getting an Alienware. Get an Asus or, or 
or, 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 or one of those Republican gamers or something like that. I get one of those and start really into gaming. And the key, but the keyboard is still mostly fine, even though it malfunctions a lot. It's like quite thin sometimes. And it, sorry, and it only has two USB USB ports, which is which kind of sucks. I mean, I've, I've had PCs that are made in 1999 that had more USB ports than this. That's kind of sad that it fails at stuff that that more that computers in 1999 achieved easy. It runs Windows 10, but it's not the but Windows 10 is not the best. It's funny how what kind of software runs on Windows 10 and what kind of software doesn't run on Windows 10. Oh, what a surprise. You see, now we're actually trying to take out these stormtroopers. We didn't get the true Jedi yet, so it's just going to still run back. This is it's actually very, I said before, this is actually very easy to return Jedi. Yeah, sorry, sorry, yeah, the true Jedi. Sorry, you get a very true, yeah, true Jedi here easy. Just go back and forth with these things. I know it's kind of repetitive, but it works and you get a lot of studs. You become a lot of rich. Why not? Maybe it's like curling. It's kind of boring to watch, but here it's a lot of fun to play. That is, you like curling, which I don't know. I've never played curling before in real life. I remember watching it at the Olympics back in 2010. But, no, I never really got into it. I was never really overly into sports in general. It's up for the Olympics because I used to like watching my friends. My friends would make fun of the stuff that happens at the Olympics. Same with the World Cup. I remember the World Cup in 2010. It was Netherlands versus Germany. Then someone kept yelling, Ah, it's Germany. They're the Nazis. They're going to do stuff to us now. Nah, Germany's not Nazi anymore. They haven't been Nazis since 1945. They see we got the, we got the true shine. I'm not going to be worried about getting studs now. So we took out that, that stormtrooper. And see here, so it's pretty much labyrinth repeat for this part. What we have to do is we have to fight off this ATST thing. But maybe we've seen, we came across these things before, we just have to use the force on them and knock out a sister controller of it, and then take control of the ATS, and then shoot at that target thing over there, and then we'll eventually get to a targeting control base. You'll see, this is a walk, this kind of is a walkthrough after all, story mode, let's play showing you how to get through the whole game in story mode, so I guess it only makes sense that she'll cover it, instead of letting me here sit there and tell you about how to do. It's not like just going and watching game facts or group or whatever it is you guys watch to you know, tell you how to get through games or to help you figure out your games. So, okay, we've got one of those things down. Easy again. This is a very easy game. This game in general is a bit kind of easy if you know what to do. I know what to do. I play this game a lot of times, of course. I know this game very well inside and out. I actually got this PC version 100% complete once. I also have a game. I said it before, I also have some games. You mostly got this 100% complete too. I'm starting to burst anyone's bubble, but I don't think I'll be doing very many more LPs. They take a long time to make. It kind of detracts from other things, other gaming videos, other videos might do. And also, I, I run out of stuff to talk about. You probably figured that out, but I ran out of stuff to talk about like 20 videos ago, so. <laughs> yeah, 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 so like I said, this is exactly why I don't do very many LPs like this. Oh man, I'll do the occasional one every now and then, because some games are just fun, some games are their DLP, but for the most part, yeah, you're not going to see very many LPs on this channel. You're not going to see very many LPs from Rick Nix. I'm just going to finish this one, because really, it's just an obligation at this point. I've done all the other parts of this game, I've done all the other earlier parts, so I might as well continue playing and, you know, finish it off. This time around, we have to actually dig up the ATS, use it as a dinosaur and archaeology site. And of course, we're gonna get barraged with stormtroopers. What else? But looks like, but it's a good thing we have our lightsabers with us, and we have Princess Leia with us too, even though, even though she's good for nothing. Because, you know, the second player is, is not good at anything, as you probably know. Oh, and, and, and the lightsabers aren't always the most ideal thing you use against stormtroopers in this game. Not that it's not always easy to deflect. I mean, if you're good at deflecting, then yeah, it's good. But if you're not good at deflecting, then you might have a tough time with that. We use a force here, so we allow Leia to get up on here and flip that switch. You know, it's like it's like a mechanism thing. You know, gets to one thing, flips one thing, gets to another thing, flips another thing. You know, you know what this game is. I'm sure you guys all figure it out by now. Seeing you've been watching me from the beginning, or if you're a newcomer, then go watch the earlier parts of this video. Just look at that. Use the force from over here. Luke could use the force. He can really have something good accomplished, Jedi Master. I hope he becomes a true. I imagine he could become a Jedi Master after this. Okay, we got the second one of those tower things down. So now, if there's two down, two more to go. I'm just gonna dodge your stormtroopers. And Princess Leia, you know, she's being a jerk. I think she takes the closest one, so I have to run away from stormtroopers more. You know, not taking the fall for your friends. Some people say it's very unfriendship like or unsportsman like. So, that's the end of the part A of this. This is in part three. Signing out.